Hi, it's September 10th and we're on Columbia uh, Basin College campus and we have a couple of students here that are going to talk with us about our question we are asking as we travel across, across Washington State. Why the death penalty? And you are? Megan. Kaylee. Nice to meet you. Thank you for taking a few moments for us. So I'm going to start with you because <laughs> I met you first. And I am Victoria Thorpe, by the way. Um, I'm supposed to remember that part. <laughs> uh, why the death penalty or what do you know about it? I know that like if they, the people in the jail do something really bad, then they give them something that makes them die. And how about do you have an opinion or any information you know about the death penalty? Um, I don't know. I kind of, it kind of depends on the situation to me. Like sometimes I think the death penalty is unfair. Other times I think that it's just. And it would be unfair because? I don't know. It's kind of like an eye for an eye makes a whole load of blinds. If you're going to kill someone for killing someone, then you're killing two people. Instead of making them like, I don't know, spend the rest of their life in a miserable place like Joe. Well, if we say, it sounds like what you're saying, if we kill someone for killing someone, it sounds like repeating the same situation yeah. and calling it better than what they did. Well, instead of having just one person die, then two people have to die and two families have to suffer with that. Do you both know we have the death penalty in Washington State? Yes. Yeah. Do you know how many people are on our death rows? No. No. Eight. Eight. Um, do, you think it costs, do you think it costs more to pursue the death penalty system to the end or to incarcerate someone for life in prison? Um, I think it costs more to, um, kill them. I don't know. Yeah, factually it costs many, many times more to go through the process of the death penalty than it would be to keep them incarcerated for life without parole. And, um, why we're talking about this across Washington State is that there will be a bill submitted to legislature this, uh, next session in January. And, People, we're hoping people might want to look into the subject and, and decide what they think either way and talk to their legislators uh, what the bill will be is proposing to repeal the death penalty, which will save the state financially and stop killing and leave in place life without the possibility of parole. What do you think of that option? Um, I think it sounds fine. I mean, there are certain situations where I think that the death penalty is more just, but... And those situations would be... I don't know a specific one. <laughs> um, just to give you some factual information, and I have some notes I can leave with you also, the folks that are currently on our death row here are not the worst of the worst. The, all of our serial killers are in general population. So what do you think of that? Um, I think that the death penalty should only like happen if it's like the worst thing possible you could do and like the worst person out there. And uh, how do you suppose you would um, prove that? We have 143 exonerated persons now from death rows across the United States just last week in Arizona. A woman after 24 years on death row was exonerated, fully dismissed. She did not commit the crime. So we are having people submitted to death row and and some have been executed accidentally the innocent folks because we make mistakes we're human beings and we do have the best system in the world i bet you think so too but we are human beings and we can't bring someone back once we have killed them so if we can keep them and house them safely away from society those that we deem violent do you think that's a, a reasonable option and you can have any opinion you want I'm, not, I'm just providing you with information well I think if it's like obvious like DNA evidence then I mean they're proven guilty but if there's not if they're not 100% for sure then I don't think it should be happening because you don't want to kill those innocent people I don't know okay great thank you both so much for talking with me today let me let me offer you a card and we'll say goodbye for now thanks